The Listening in Spatialized Noise Sentences Test, or Listen S, assesses a child's ability to understand speech when noise is arriving from different directions. In classroom situations, for example, the teacher's speech usually comes from the front of the class, whilst other noises come from other directions. Such conflicting noises don't present a problem for children with normal hearing. However, those with auditory processing disorder, or APD, often struggle to filter out these distracting noises, making understanding speech very difficult. The brain works by using directional cues when sound reaches the left and right ears at different times and different levels. These cues are different for the voice of the teacher coming from the front and the noise in the classroom coming from other directions. By measuring a child's speech understanding when noises are arriving from different directions, hearing professionals can accurately recreate real-life situations such as noisy classrooms in which children can encounter severe communication challenges. However, Listen S is no ordinary speech in noise test, as for the first time ever, it makes it possible to identify any problems children have making use of the spatial information in sound. Listen S offers everything the professional needs. The test is highly sensitive, quick to perform, and the testing process simple. In addition, the test's results are crystal clear, and the Listen S software generates handy, easy to print reports. Listen S uses a new and ingenious way of testing children's auditory skills. Test stimuli are presented through special PC-connected headphones, which use advanced mathematical algorithms to create a three-dimensional acoustic space. To test whether a child can use spatial advantage, the competing noises are manipulated, keeping the target speech directly ahead, but bringing in different competing speech sounds from other directions. Listen S is an adaptive test. It works by broadcasting sentences to the patient child using the special headphones, and the child must then simply repeat all the words he or she hears. The hearing professional then enters the number of words repeated correctly into the Listen S software. If the child repeats more than half the words in a sentence correctly, the next sentence is played more softly. If the child correctly repeats less than 50% of the words, the next sentence is made louder. For scores of exactly 50%, the next sentence's volume remains unchanged. The noise of the competing speech is presented at a constant level of 55 decibels SPL. After 22 to 30 sentences, the test finishes and the child's speech reception threshold is calculated. The Listen S test assesses a child's hearing comprehension in four different conditions. In all four, the target speech comes directly from the front. In the first test, the competing noise is composed of different voices than that of the target speaker, and these noises come from the left and the right. This gives the child several oral cues to help them filter out and identify the target speech. The result of this test is called the child's High Q Speech Reception Threshold, or High Q SRT. In condition two, the competing noises are composed of the same voice as the target speech and again come from the left and right. With condition 3, the competing noise is composed of different voices than the target speech and comes from the front, the same direction as the target speech. In condition 4, the competing noise uses the same voice as the target speech and comes from in front of the child the same direction as the target speech. This fourth condition is the most difficult of the four, as there are no spatial cues available and the target speech and competing noises are very similar. The result of this test is referred to as the child's low Q speech reception threshold, or low Q SRT. Moving distracting voices from the front to the sides allows a child to make use of spatial cues. How much an individual child benefits from this movement is easily calculated by measuring the difference in scores between condition 2 
and 4. This so-called spatial advantage is calculated automatically by LISTEN-S and is a highly sensitive indicator. Children diagnosed with APD score very poorly in this spatial advantage test. To assess how well a child can differentiate between different speaker voices and so understand speech and noise, LISTEN-S also calculates the difference between a child's scores for conditions 3 and 4. The resulting figure is known as the child's talker advantage. Last but not least, the difference between a child's scores in conditions 1 and 4 is referred to as his or her total advantage. Like the high Q SRT, total advantage is a measure of how well a child uses the cues in the environment to filter the noise coming from different speakers and different directions. By measuring performance as a difference between the scores from two listen as conditions, the influence of higher order language, learning, and communication skills on test performance is minimized. This unique listen as approach to measurement is highly valuable for the hearing professional, as it allows for a much clearer evaluation of a child's ability to use spatial and voice cues. Performing a listen as test is easy. The client's data is entered into the software, and the child is then simply instructed that he or she will hear sentences over the headphones spoken by a lady called Miss Smith. Miss Smith is standing in front of you, and she is going to be saying some sentences. Your job is to repeat what Miss Smith says. There will be a beep before each sentence so you know when Miss Smith is about to start. If you hear Miss Smith say, The dog had a bone, just say, the dog had a bone. But wait, there is a trick. When Miss Smith is telling you these sentences, there will also be other people talking. Sometimes the others will sound like they are standing right next to Miss Smith. And sometimes they will sound like they are standing next to you. No matter where these people are, I don't want you to listen to them. At first, Miss Smith will be louder than these tricky other people, so you shouldn't have any trouble hearing her. But the tricky people sometimes get louder and it will become harder to hear Miss Smith. Even if you don't hear every word Miss Smith says, I want you to tell me all the words you do hear, because you get a mark for each word you can tell me. So even if you just hear dog and bone, I want you to just say these two words. If you don't hear any of the words in the sentence that Miss Smith says, shake your head and I'll go on to the next sentence. In the first batch of sentences you will hear, the tricky people will sound like they are standing next to you. I'll tell you where the tricky people are before each set of sentences begins. For the listen as test, norms exist for children aged from 6 years up to 11 years and 11 months. Scores calculated for children outside the current normative ranges are invalid. Norms also exist for North American, UK, and Australian English. Listen S automatically calculates whether a child has displayed a disordered performance on any of the measures by comparing the performance to these normal hearing controls. Listen S offers high test-retest reliability. Data from test-retest reliability studies has been used to develop Listen S critical difference scores. These scores allow the user to determine whether a child has made a genuine improvement over time by simply retesting again with Listen S. Such retesting can be useful for determining, for example, whether a child's listening skills have improved after some form of intervention. Listen S was developed by Sharon Cameron, a research scientist at National Acoustics Laboratories, or NAL, in Australia, along with Harvey Dillon, NAL's director. Both are highly respected in the international scientific community for their innovative and outstanding contributions and NAL itself is one of the world's leading research institutes. As the Research Division of Australian Hearing, a Commonwealth Government Authority under the Department of Human Services, NAL undertakes scientific investigations into hearing, hearing habilitation and rehabilitation, and the prevention of hearing loss. Listen S will change the diagnostics of APD for good. It is easy to administer, takes only 20 minutes per child, and its test results are extremely clear. Listen S is also extremely scientifically robust. All professionals who test children for APD should incorporate Listen S into their standard diagnostic protocol.